folks, Mike from Minnesota here. Welcome to my channel, and uh, as you can tell, we're in a uh, bait shop, and I love bait shops, and that means we're going ice fishing. I love it. Uh, today, or in this in this uh, video, we're going to be going up to uh, Upper Red Lake with uh, my friend Bruce and Lee, and uh, we're going to pick up our bait and head up to Red Lake, and uh, we're going to go out of uh, uh, a place called Cookies on Red Lake. And uh, this is going to be an extra special uh, video because uh, it, we're going to be sleeping on the ice um, in a fish shack. So uh, I wanted to do a uh, video with the full experience of uh, fishing on the ice, spending the night on the ice, playing cards, and, and everything else. So um, this is going to be the Upper Red Lake ice fishing experience. So folks, uh, we're going to head up to Red Lake, and we'll see you in a bit. Well, we're up here on Red Lake. This is Cookie's Place, and uh, we're going to continue down the road to a place called Hillman's, where he drives out to his uh, ice sleeper shacks. So we'll meet Cookie in, in the shack we're going in in a minute. Well, we're here at the shack, and there's Cookie in his truck. It's uh, one, minus one, two degrees with a wind chill of minus 26. I'll do a little pan here. We're out about five miles on Upper Red Lake and uh, we're gonna go into the shack and uh, talk with Cookie here. Hi, <laughs> right, folks. Uh, we're here in uh, our sleeper house with Cookie and uh first of all this is cookie cookie hello um, everybody what uh what do you have to offer up here on red lake well i guess in the summer we have two cabins we rent out so that's about all we have in the summer and then my main business is the ice fishing business so we have uh seven sleeper fish houses out here on red lake all sleepers all sleepers yes sir and uh to, uh, to book a trip up here with you, how do people get a hold of you at Cookie? Oh, I have a website, cookiesonupperredlake.com, or you can give me a, a, a call on my phone number, 218-556-6197. What's it uh, been like up here from the last uh, week? Uh, I know you've had, uh, we're, we're had a storm over the last couple of days. Um, oh, yeah. What else has been going on? Well, this this winter's been a very tough winter. It's been wind from every direction and snow every other day. So it's probably uh, 18 years of doing this. This was probably the, the the hardest year we've ever had, for me anyway. Yeah. So it's been a tough year. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get into some fish. I know they, they get finicky when, uh, you know, the weather is goofy like this. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I well, think they'll be jumping around out of the hole today. That's what I heard. <laughs> that's what I heard. Yeah. Um, so we're about uh, what? How many miles out? Here? Oh, I, I'm, I'm guessing five miles out. And yeah. what kind of structure is it here? Boy, it's just a big bowl. There's no structure out here whatsoever. Okay. No, it's uh, right. just a, the basin, and the fish are just kind of rolling around chasing shiners. So. Chasing shiners. Yeah. Okay. And what? Uh, what kind of fish do you think? Uh, which species might we get into? Here? Well, out here we've been seeing. Uh, perch, walleye, um, a few pike, and then uh, uh, a couple of crappies here and there. The okay. Lucy. Great, <laughs> great. That is great. Yeah, th those those would be nice to get a few of those. Um, boy, what a beautiful uh, sleeper house. Oh, thank you. Um, we're going to enjoy this. We'll have to get the generator going and uh, the TV's working. And uh, Yeah, there's a few movies up in the cupboard there to watch movies. It's a DVD player unless you know all that technology, I which don't I don't. Know, I don't know if we're going to have much time to do anything that's else right. but catch fish. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. So, yeah, but I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be afraid to use something that rattles, buckshots. Yeah, yeah. You know, salamos. Yeah, anything like anything that makes noise and rattles. Get them in. Huh? Yep, exactly. Get them in, hit, yep. and they'll hit the dead and, sticks. Yep, and a lot of people like just the pink hook or orange hook, green hook, white hook. So. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And, 15, uh, yeah, I guess been 15 yeah, years yes, or something. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, here's the life in a sleeper house. So far, we just got everything uh, unpacked. And uh, we're having our own little fishing contest. A dollar on the first fish. And Bruce is over here in a couple holes. And 
Lee is over here with the hole there. Don't you have another router? I'm, I'm going to be dropping one. Oh, yeah. yeah. You actually were stepping on it. Stepping on it? No, you were. Oh. And uh, I got a minnow attached to a plastic. I don't know what Bruce is doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> I got a camera setting up, set up, but it. Uh, I'm gonna put on a glow jig. Haven't been able to uh, figure it figure it out yet. I've got uh, <coughs> two in the hole here, and uh, started marking fish when we first put it down. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, beautiful place. We're using the upper bunk over there for storage. And we got our snacks and Lee stew. That's gonna go on in a little while. And then uh, after we get all settled in, maybe have a cocktail, we'll get the card table out and play a little cards. I got a little bit of mess over there, but it's not a big deal. I'll straighten it all out when I go to bed or getting close to it. This is a nice, uh, nice shack. It has a biff in it. Very comfortable, very comfortable fish house. Everybody else, check your bobbers. Oh, good point. Like you were saying, they they swim around everything. Yeah, yeah. If, if it's a northern. Oh, cool. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know what the heck you got snagged on, if you're snagged. Something's weird there. Anyways, we'll come back if we have something. Folks, just a shot of the uh, sunset on the lake. Uh, the wind here is horrendous, so I'm going to get back into the fish house, and we're going to take a little video of what we're doing now in there. Hey, everybody. Uh... So this is uh, what it's like in the evening here in the uh, sleeper house, and uh, having a good time. It's nice and warm in here. We got uh, Lee stew on. We're having some snacks, a couple cocktails, coffee. Bruce is hydrating with some water. Yeah, I'm doing it all. Um, so now this is first uh, Bruce's first time out in a sleeper house, and uh, his first. Uh, ice experience uh, in a sleeper house. And Bruce, what would you say, uh, what's your thoughts on, on doing this on the ice? Well, uh, first of all, I, I think, well, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's extremely cold outside. And to be in the safety of this is, is wonderful. Yeah. Because you can actually do your sport and survive uh, versus just being out there. Uh, but the uh, it's pretty comfy. It's nice. So uh, you've got beds and I have my sleeping bag already out and uh, um, You know guys have got their stuff on and like you said, we're, we're just playing cards and and uh, Staying warm. So yeah, I love it. Lee, any thoughts on it? I'm just having a wonderful time with my brothers up here um, Roughing it per se. Mm -hmm. It is brutally cold out and it is nice to be in a nice shack and have some protection and Kick back, enjoy nature, and have fun. Hopefully catch some more fish. Yeah, the fish bite hasn't really cooperated too much, right. but uh, we're still enjoying ourselves. Actually, right now at sunset is the time where uh, um, we're probably going to put our cards down and maybe tend to our lines a little bit because this is, is more like the time that uh, you're likely to get more bites and the fish become more active. So hopefully if uh, we get a fish on, um, we'll come back with some video on it. So until then, bye. Nice one, Brucey. That's the biggest fish so far. Oop. Nice one, Bruce. Oh, God, got it. Take your time, don't get by the hole. Well, we finally got a fish. Hopefully they'll start coming in a little bit more. Can I get a, a picture of Zeus over this fish? 
Okay, I'm having trouble with the... Want some help? Do that. Will you? you see that it's got a double hook there? You whipped them all right. Yeah. Okay, we'll measure that little baby and put them in the uh, bucket. They have to come in and open up the road for us to leave in the morning. Hi folks, Mike from Minnesota again. Today is uh, Wednesday morning. We spent the night Tuesday night and uh, surprisingly we didn't get any bites during the evening. Um, if we had, we have these rattle reels that are down and uh, you see over here, these, these will rattle when, when the fish takes it, wake you up and uh, you turn on the light, land land the fish, but uh, none of them went off. I spoke with Cookie this morning and uh, he was quite surprised. Of course, uh, he had just moved this shack here yesterday, but he was surprised because some of the other houses around us caught fish during the night. But in any case, uh, that's, what, that's what it's all about, that's fishing. So sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. I don't know, we tried many different lures, but I'll tell you what, we just had a, we just had a blast. Um, and one reason why I chose uh, Cookie on Red Lake was because of these beautiful fish houses that, that he had. I, uh, in researching this trip, looked at a lot of different resorts. Um, some, of them, some of them, or a lot of them, are just bare bone shacks, and uh, you have to bring your own tables, your own chairs. Um, one thing with Cookie, it, it's all about service. I mean, he checked in on us, he stopped by, uh, called right away in the morning to see how we were doing, and uh, I'm telling you what, it was it was worth it. All of the all the fish houses. I mean, if you come up, spend the money to have that Red Lake Red Lake ice fishing experience. You know, it, it, you might as well go with something that's uh, really fun and comfortable. So that's going to be it. Uh, we we've got our lines in the water, not catching anything yet this morning. Um, but uh, here in a little bit, uh, we're going to pull the line, start packing up, and start heading home. So until next time, folks, make every day a great day, and God bless.